We all love the togetherness that the holidays bring. Okay, many of us, but stress can also be the side dish no one asked for. So to help us amp up our effective communication before the festive season, founder Jalen Chris is here to share his pro tips. So thanks for hanging out with us today. I appreciate it. So Jalen, you are the founder of Parent Partners. What exactly is that? Well, it's a website that my daughter and I, my, my daughter Milan and I created to provide resources for parents. Um, there's so many things out there that parents don't have when it comes to, uh, you know, food and shelter and things of that nature. So we try to create resources for them to, a, a place for them to go to for resources that can help them. And so now you're offering the resourcefulness of having positive holiday conversations, and we know how sketchy that can be. So how can parents create a family, a positive family environment with effective communication? You know, I think I use the words effective communication throughout my book, and it just means that we're taking the time to convey a message clearly and effectively. So some things we can do are just, you know, lead by example, you know, make ourselves available to our children, you know, let them know that as parents, our voice is not the only one that needs to be heard and that we're here to listen to them as well. Uh, that's a little different than how we grew up, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You know, it was like my way or the highway. So you're actually inviting the children to be a part of the conversation Absolutely. and have a voice. Absolutely. I'm not going to get therapy. I'm working. That <laughs> and how can parents be a driving force behind open communication? I think that, you know, we have to overcome obstacles. I mean, sometimes there's obstacles where, you know, there's not, again, there's not enough resources. Um, sometimes there's re uh, relationship issues with the parents, but, you know, we have to come together to overcome these things and, you know, just try to build a stronger family culture. Um, again, keeping the children involved, open communication, things of that nature. And I think that, you know, we'll better ourselves that way. Now, from a broader scope, the holidays, a lot of times incorporated, bringing in either blended families or extended families. Are there ways you can have a conversation in that group where everybody still feels heard and connected and it doesn't turn into, I'm not coming back for Christmas, I'm never gonna see you. <laughs> You know, I, I think with blended families, you know, a, a, a lot of things come into play. But I think that the parent that's, that's actually coming into the blended family, they don't want to come in and be overbearing. They don't want to come in and just start throwing rules around. So it's, it, there's steps to take. You know, you want to build a relationship with the children the same way you built a relationship with that other parent. All right, so if you need some more parenting tips and communication tools, you can connect with my man Jalen and his daughter at visit par or at parents. Uh, parentpartners.info. Also, his book, Married Dad, Single Dad, is out there, and he's got some other little nuggets out there that can be shared. And uh, hang with us for RC Plus, River City Plus, and we'll be having a deeper conversation with you there. So thanks for that information. I appreciate that. And I will definitely take notes. I can't say I can apply at all, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, when we come back, we're telling you exactly how to shop the Diamond D Vintage Market this weekend. But first, let's check out a weather snapshot brought to you by Paramount Builders.